everyone welcome back to my channel it's been a very long time since I filmed a video I've kind of been reflecting on what I want to do with my channel if I want to continue with it or not but anyway I have to save that for another time because today is another collaboration with my favorite Lyra swimwear <laughs> hi I'm gonna be interrupted with Alina and possibly Zaid hopefully I'll get this video with no tears hey so I am doing another collaboration with Lara Swimwear. So they've allowed me to select two swimwears this time and two accessories. So that's what I've got today for this unboxing video. I'm gonna hear Alina. Also, stay tuned for another video that I am going to be filming with my nephew Jiha, who's from Canberra. He's here for holiday again. This collaboration was specifically requested to do with Jihad because Lara Swimmer really really enjoyed our last video that he filmed which I'll link in the corner so let's get on with this video and I'll show you what's in the bag also after what I show you what's in the bag I'm going to talk to you about sizing because I actually get asked quite a bit like seriously I sound like a broken record but I literally get asked a lot what size I'm wearing and how to measure yourself and how to follow the size guide etc so I'm going to talk about that after I show you the unboxing. So let's get straight into it. Here it is. Usually they send it in a um, nice pink box, but because I only found out last minute that my nephew was coming, I had to quickly let Lyra know because we had talked about this, I think, when it was winter time. So I think even when Zay was still, wasn't even born yet, they wanted to do a collaboration, but I had to explain that, you know, Jihad doesn't live here. Anyway, so when Jihad told me last minute that, they, that he was coming, um, they had to quickly send it to me. Let's just get straight into it. So I've forgotten what I chose. I literally don't even remember picking these out. <laughs> I've got mom brain, you guys. Hello. So I chose, I'm pretty sure these, the two I chose are from the new collection. It's still the same style as my other swimwears that I've Hello. gotten from Lara Swimwear, so you can hear her. But this is one of the items that I chose. It's kind of like a gold color, gold brownish. Hello maybe what's the word um what's it called i can't remember the Hi. color but it's like yeah gold brownish color here's the turban for it and the skirt and the pants so you can purchase this in the set or you can get it in a single as well i know you can get the swimwear on its own so that's the first color that i picked out Next is a similar style as well. It's still got that kind of goldish finish and navy color to it. And then the skirt and then the turban and the pants. And I just realized that if I wanted to, I could totally mix and match these two because they're similar color to it. That's pretty cool. So if I wanted to, I could wear this bodysuit with the leggings. The leggings are the same color, but instead of wearing it with this skirt, with the print, I can wear it with this skirt, which isn't, oh no, that's not the skirt. <laughs> Sorry, I had the chair here, but Alina took it. This one, if I wanted to, or you know, vice versa. I think it would be really nice to wear it with this bodysuit mm. and then the skirt with the print from the other set. So that's those two swimmers that I chose. I didn't realize they were very similar. I thought the printed one was black, but I was completely wrong. It's okay. Going outside? Go outside, come on. All right. So this one is groundbreaking. Groundbreaking? Do I, is it groundbreaking? I think it's pretty groundbreaking because I got asked this a lot if the bodysuit had support in it. And it doesn't. That was my biggest downfall was that there's no support because, you know, that's pretty sucky for anyone that's got bigger bust, have had kids, so they need that support. And, you know, when you're swimming, you don't want to wear your bra. It's just be uncomfortable, but I would just wear my sports bra in there, which helped. But when I was advised that I could pick out two accessories and I was scrolling through, I found that they have made a bra for it. So, of course, I had to get it, even though I won't be able to show it in the videos or in the photo. But I thought it would be perfect for me to get it because then I have that feedback to give when I get asked this again, if you know what I mean. So this is what it is. This is what it looks like. Um, obviously, I can't tell you what, how it fits at the moment. Yeah, I got it in a size Hello. M because 
I found um, breastfeeding, so I, I need that support. And I will be breastfeeding for a long time. And um, I didn't want to risk getting an S because my boobs are kind of big. So I'll have to let you know in a future video how it was and how it felt and the fit for it. So stay tuned for that. And the next accessory I chose is these, this, these pants. <laughs> So obviously summertime, that's the whole purpose of collaboration is summer. And so I picked out these pants and I got it in a size M, I think. I can't remember. There's no sizing on this. I think it's an M. Maybe it's an no. oh here. Yeah. Mm. S. Got it in an S. So I'm really hoping it'll fit. But yeah, that's really nice. Hopefully it will fit. I did go based on the size guide on their website so I'll, as I said I'll talk about my size guide towards the end and last but not least the PR manager that I am liaising with did ask if I would like her to send a bag which is this one here she said that because I, I, I picked pants and a bra so I said yeah if you guys want to send it to me then that's great I will really appreciate it but I just felt that I needed to get that bra because that was something that I got asked a lot about was the support and the body suit. So I felt like my audience would want to know about that. So yeah, I'm grateful that she wanted to send me this bag as well. So let's have a look at it. I did want to choose it, but yeah, as I said, I just felt like my audience would want to know about the bra. So this is it. It's a cute little woven bag to go for the video and the photo shoot. That's what I got, which is really cool. I've got the babies in you know, size 8 as well, which all my other swimwear from Lara are size 8. So now I'm going to talk to you about the sizing because I get asked that so often on their website. If you go on size guide, honestly, it's not that, it is kind of hard. I wouldn't say I'm a pro at it, but it's just what I do when I buy stuff online and it's the first time. Each, I feel like every company's sizing is always different. I'm going to screen record this. Oh, so I can put it on the screen so you can see what I'm doing. So I've gone on their website, I've gone on the, the bathers. I can show you that I've got Sophia in Leaf. And where's the other colour? And I also got it in Sophia Gold. So those are the two colours that I got. So you click on size chart, which is right above the sizing, and then if you scroll down a bit, there's even a picture of a woman's body. And it actually shows you where you're supposed to measure yourself. So that's what I followed by. If I did it correctly, I don't know. I'm just winging it. But that's pretty much what I do. They've even got find the best size based on people like you. So you can put your age, your weight, and your height. So let's just do me. I they never had this option at the time. 29. Weight, I'm currently... Oh, Wait, I'm currently 57 and my height, I'm 59 centimeters. So we continue and I'm going to go Australian if I want, yes. So saying band 6 cup double A, continue. And I actually recommend a size M for me, but shh, sorry if you hear the kids. The thing is, the skirt is quite loose, the bodysuit is tight on me. But I can manage, I just don't put it all the way up to my neck um, and I wear my leggings underneath the bodysuit so it stays in place rather than slipping and then the skirt is there for coverage. So that's what I do. Here says I should get an M but my measurements say I should have got, I should get an S. So, but in saying that as well, at the time I wasn't 57, I was a lot smaller, I'm still postpartum so it's not really accurate for me right now. I think right now I am size M, but pre-baby weight I was S. So now you get this bad boy to do the measurement. And we're going to start with the bust. And just measure under your arms around the fullest part of your chest. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm not the greatest at this, so please bear with me. But under your arms. And then around here. So... It says 94. So I'm a 94 bust. Now we're going to measure my waist. Measure around your natural waistline, keeping the tape comfortably loose. I saw on a video on how to measure yourself, and they basically said to find your waistline and then Bob's your uncle. 
and you don't want it to pull tight just comfortably loose so that's that and set 78 next is the hips measure around the fullest part of your hips this is a part that I'm always very uncertain about <laughs> but I do what I can so I reckon it's probably here I don't know if you can see but it's pretty self-explanatory saying 98 my bust is 94 my waist is 78 and my hips is 98 so now I'm going to screen record again because I cancelled it before you just go up to the top where it's got the sizing and the measurements and it says bust waist and hip on the top and you just compare it so bust 94 so 94 is an M, waist is 78, so that would be an M, and hips is 98 M. So my measurement when I did the recommended section is correct, I am an M. But before, like my, my very first collaboration, I was pregnant with Alina at the time, but I was still very, 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 I was still at my weight. Um, and I was also when I did the measurements the last time. This time, I didn't measure myself. I just ordered a S because I am hoping I go back to my pre-baby weight again after Alina. Because I did go back to my pre-baby weight after Alina. So I'm hoping I'll go back. I'm still only four and a half months postpartum. I didn't go back to my pre-baby weight until I was like six months postpartum after Alina. But yeah, so that's pretty much it. That's how I measure myself. I hope that is self-explanatory. I get asked this so much, like you wouldn't believe. That's pretty much how I do it. That was pretty accurate. So it was an M across the board. I remember that when I was doing it, when I was measuring myself the first time. It wasn't, it was like an S and an M. Because my whole life, before I even had babies, I was always bigger around the chest area and smaller around the waist area. So that's probably the first time ever it's been straight across the across the board like accurate but anyway that's pretty much it stay tuned for a video it won't be for a while because we're going to film it and then my nephew's going to edit it and everything but rest assured it's going to be amazing and i'll have photos up soon other than that anyway so yeah if you haven't already check out my instagram account and give me a follow if you're new and subscribe to my youtube channel if you like i don't really know where this channel is going at the moment i'll have to update you in a future video about that but Thanks for watching and I may or may not see you next time. <laughs> Bye.